We got this with Reverend Pastor down in Jamaica. Flash cross memory because of what this lady did to me in Jamaica. I mean, can't forget it. Can't forget it, guys. Me I take it to my grave. And when me dead and gone, me, me, me nah forget it. Oh, a whole heap of things that lady did to me. I mean, can't forget it. Oh, tear put me for the lotion, yeah, sir. Because some of you do go shock right now. Some of you don't say, a pop, as, as a Barbara Hill Wednesday, as a Reverend Healer, as a Evangelist Hill, as a Pastor Hill Wednesday. Yes. Some of you do go shock. You probably will call her right now and say, we are one boy and your money said talk about you. Sister Hill, me can't believe stay when you talk to talk about you so Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Manix Robinson TV. And I am back at it again. If this is your first time tuning into the channel, remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that post notification bell. That whenever I drop a video, you won't miss it. But anyway, right now guys, we have a barrel right here, so see them. So come, come here, Barry. Heavy. Come here, Barry. This guy right here, so filled already. See if I can tape up these items right here. I'm gonna take up, tape up these products. Could put in a next barrel. All of these items, I'm gonna tape them up because all of these guys, they are going to Jamaica. We also have some more can products that we're gonna have to take care of. We're gonna have to get one or two more bars to pack up this stuff because my wife is hand me saying that you need to clear out the garage Manix. you need to clear out the garage you need to clear out the garage so that's what we have today guys tape up these items and hopefully tomorrow I can go down to Bongo big up yourself Bongo from Atlantic City big up yourself much respect Nice African guy, much love, much love Bongo, yeah. Thank you for the barrels, yeah. So guys, this is what we're up to. We're gonna have to tape up these guys right now and get them ready we put, so that when I get the barrels, we can just pack them in there, yeah. So this is how we do it, guys. We just wrap the tape around like this. Yeah, guys, the lid, eat. look at this, look at this, guys, the lid. Easy if it come off. Already, already, already. Come on. See that? Eh? Easy if it come off. So, you just have to make sure that you tape it up like this. Yeah. That is it right there. Easy peasy, guys. Easy peasy. What is that? VO5? Yeah. Story time, guys. Now I keep it boring while I'm packing the bar, so I'm gonna give you a story also. So the other day, this pastor, this reverend from Jamaica, by the name of Reverend Barbara Hill, came across my mind because of something that she did to me. And I cannot forget it. Reverend Barbara Hill, Pastor Hill, Evangelist Hill, see him on me at all, boss. So any of you, you get, when you see her, you can tell her, give her the message. So, the other day I was up here and it's like, flash cross memory because of what this lady did to me in Jamaica. I mean, can't forget it. Can't forget it, guys. Me, I take it to me grave. And when me dead and gone, me, me, me nah forget it. Oh, a whole heap of things that lady did to me. But me can't forget it. Oh, tape up me for the lotion, yeah, sir. Some of you do go shock right now. Some of you do say, a pop, as, as a Barbara Hill Wednesday, as a Reverend Healer, as a Evangelist Hill, as a Pastor Hill Wednesday, yes. Some of you will go shock. You probably will call her right now and say, We are one boy and your money said talk about you. Sister Hill, me can't believe stay when you talk to talk about you so 
Ja. So. She usually passed at this church. In you know, this community that I came from in Jamaica. And. Tell you about that lady I see man. You think that lady they easy. You think. That lady they easy. You think that sister they easy. You think that pastor easy. That reverend easy. Some of you know now go believe. But listen to me. When that lady. Came to the church. And they give her the pastoral ship. Hey, better get to no coffee and get to no phone to call her right now. So, so man will probably call her already and they talk, say, yo, you see this boy they talk about you? Yes. Because a whole heap of things she do to me. Me can't forget it. Me take it to my grave. Keep up my condition here, my VO5 condition here. Because some people do your things that you can't forget it. See how my barrel pack up. And so me pack up. So me have to unload right now. Okay. And my peanut butter me a tape up. Okay. And she became the pastor of the church. Let me stop tape up stuff so you guys can hear what my office said. And she called me in the office one day. And said, Brother Manix, I need the 13, Brother Manix. I said, What did I do now? Brother Manix, you need to have a seat because it's long time I have something on my mind that I need to talk to you about. So you need to have a seat. You need to have a seat, Brother Mannix. And she's looking down at me. And I'm looking at her and say, okay, be ready now. Be ready. Be ready. Anything ready for pop off. Make it pop off. So she said, Brother Mannix, you need to have a seat. I need to talk to you right now. So I said, what did I do? She said, Bro, she, she said Brother Mannix, I've been observing you. It's been a while I've been observing you, Brother Mannix. And I'm just going to let you know what I've been thinking about you for all this time. I haven't been saying anything to you, but I've been, I've been observing you. Let me tell you something, Brother Mannix. Let me tell you something. This is the way she's talking to me, you know. Just come at the church. Just come at the church, and I saw she start talking to me. Yes, same lady, Reverend Barbara Hill, Pastor Hill, Evangel Evangelist Hill, same lady there from down at Jamaica. Yes. Only for them right now watching this video noir. So they probably go call her right now and say, the boy, you're talking about you. But me now forget. Now forget. So, after she called me in the office, and she said, brother man, if I want to talk to you right now, I want to talk to you right now, Brother Mannix. You need to have a seat, Brother Mannix. So right now, I am ready. So she said, let me, let me tell you something, Brother Mannix. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, Brother Mannix. And whether you want to believe it or not, or whether you want to upset with me, this or not, and even if you want to start coming to the church, I'm going to let you know what I think about you right now. My heart start flutter. And I said, what the world go on? I want to go on. I'm going to sit and bust me. I said, hold on, hold on. I want to go on. So she said, brother man, let me tell you something. Let me tell you what I've been observing about you. Let me tell you what I've been observing about you. I noticed that whenever I'm talking to you, you'll be looking down on the ground and you can't have eye to eye contact with me. Let me tell you something, brother Mannix. Let me tell you something. As a young man, I am telling you this. Whenever you're in a conversation with anybody, you need to have eye to eye contact. Never be talking to nobody and look down on the ground. It's a sign of weakness. People will see that as a sign of weakness and they will step over you 
So whenever you are in a conversation, maintain eye contact. Don't look down on the ground. I am talking to you like this as a mother who have, who have sons. Whenever you are in a conversation with any brad, anybody, brother Maddox, maintain eye contact with them. Don't look down on the ground. Don't look down on the ground like you, like you're weak. Maintain eye contact with anybody that you're in a conversation with. I said, what? She said, yes, I've been observing you. Every time people talk, talk to you, you be looking down on the ground like some poor little thing, like some little puppy, like some little lost soul. Whenever anybody talking to you, look straight in their eyes and, and maintain your composure like a man because you're a man. Talk like a man, act like a man, behave like a man and maintain your eye contact regardless is who is talking to you, regardless what position, what class, what race that person is in. Maintain eye contact with such person. Never you look down on the ground when you are in a conversation with anybody. I know some of you probably thought that I was going to talk something bad about this lady. <laughs> Get you? Sister Brother Mannix, I know that a lot of people don't like your family. They don't like you. I realize a lot of them don't like your family. I've been observing it. I've been watching you. I've been watching your sister. I've been watching your brothers. And I know that a lot of people don't like your family, especially the Lysit family. The L-Y-S-A-I-T-H Lysit family. I know they don't like them. But let me tell you something, Brother Mannix. Whenever you're in a conversation with anybody, don't look down like you don't know who you are. Maintain eye contact with anybody. Stand strong like a man, even though you know that a lot of them don't like your family. Don't, don't hold on your head when you're talking. Don't walk and look down on the street when you're walking like you're ashamed of who you are. Be proud of who you are as a man. I remember this lady and she would cook and she would bring the food and, she, and there's a bunch of us young men that were in the church and she would call us in the office and she would say guys I brought some dinner for you sit in the office stay right there this is for you brother Mannix this is for you Ray 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 I can't call the rest of people name but I will call my name and I will call her name and whenever sometimes she traveled she traveled to the United States I wish ever that she go she will bring back clothes for us on a couple occasions when we were at church she would call us and she said guys after church we can load up in the car and go home and you can sit what we enjoy yourself while I cook dinner. Reverend Barbara Hill from down there in Montego Bay, St. James, Jamaica. Don't think I forget the goodness that you did for me, sis. And it's not me alone. A whole heap of people you help out. A whole heap of people, even though some of them sell you out. A whole heap of people you help out in the community. A whole heap of people you help out in the community. In the church that you use as a pastor. What if I good to do? And don't forget, I am one of them that you did good for. And I will never forget it. Reverend Pastor Barbara Hill. Yes. When she came to the church in my community, underneath her pastoral ship, a whole heap of young men got saved. A whole heap of young lady got saved. It was underneath her pastoral ship. My mother got called back into church. Reverend Barbara Hill. Whole heap of, whole heap of young people from that community, from that church. She sent to Bible college. Even though some of them turn around and, and sell her out and send her down the river and subplot against her. A whole heap of people that lady help out. Well, if I them probably watching the video they now and get upset at what I am saying, but they know it's the truth. A whole heap of them, Pastor Barbara Hill, sell, send a Bible school, send a Bible college. And then sell her out, plan up against her, so plant against her.
And as she see a man coming at the community, see them when nobody else then see what see the potential in them. As she take, she say, hey, I see the potential in you. You need to go to Bible college. A lot of them are pastors now. Have their own church. Some of them fly out. But a lot of them, them sell out the lady, sell out the pastor. But, 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 but Pastor Barbara Hill, a whole heap of good you do. He, he, even when nobody don't want to tell you, I am telling you, a whole heap of good you do. And I will never forget the good that you did for me when you came to that church. Because you teach me how to hold my head high. You teach me how to maintain my integrity as a man. You taught me that I should never hold on my head when I'm talking to nobody. I must look focused. And you have so taught me early and tell me that I need to save and I need to invest and I shouldn't spend out my money and things that cannot bring in money. You taught me that. Serious. Wally for people that lady help out. Wally for people that lady take her money when she get her monthly salary and give it to them. Wally for people she help out in the community. Wally for people that lady help out. Wally for people that lady take her own money and give, buy stuff, give. She invite them out her house, she cook for them, she take care of them. But sometimes, no matter how the good way do for people, they will still start sell you out. Gotcha. Serious thing. I have to tape up my suave lotion properly. See, it's it easy for lose. Yeah. So we have to make sure it's it tight here. And Like this, and you have to keep it like this here, so yeah, and you wrap them around like this, yeah. yeah. See, yeah, that's how we do it. Mm -hmm. With all the good washi do. Even some of the same one them what she send go to Bible school, ending up come back home and take side against her. What if at them that she saw in the church when nobody else was not interested in them going to church, going to Bible college? She saw the saw the potential and the gift in them and said, guess what? We gonna send you go to God Bible college. We the church gonna invest in you. And the same one them. Some of them that she sent to Bible school, Bible college, they came back and want to overthrow her out of the church. They know themselves. Wally for good that lady, Wally for good that lady do for that church, for, for that community. What, uh, the, the amount of good that, that lady did for that church. Underneath her pastoral ship, that, that the membership of that ch church grew. Young men that would be on the street got saved underneath her pastoral ship. The, the membership of the church grew because she had her love for the people of the community, especially young men. She would be coming through the community, coming to, to do her service, and she would stop, pick them up. Talk to them, stop on the street, talk to the young men because she had the love for the people. The pastor who them, who them, the pastor who them threw her out far underneath his pastoral ship. The, mem the membership of the church declined in such a way that the church was in the church was in a chaotic state. 
came back from Bible college and tried to overthrow the pastor. And there are members in the church that took side with him against the pastor. Some of them probably watching this video now. Look at the condition that the church is in right now. Members that, members that were there. Backslide. Backslide. But Reverend Hill, if nobody not tell you, let me tell you, a whole heap of good you do. And even though them plan against you and then so, there are some of us will never forget the good that you do for us in that community. Especially my family. Don't think I forget. Come on, tape. Where can the burst of tape? Whole heap of people. She lend money. And who want money while she gets? She take a lend people in the church, lend people in the community. Give them it and them same one. Take side against her. Mr. Clean, guys, is a nice product. This guy right here, nice product, man. Mr. Clean. Yeah, beautiful. Holy for young people in the church. She came there and saw potential in them. And she sent them to Bible college, getting them ready to be future pastors and future evangelists. And some of them when they come back because they can't wait. They make members in the church get to them head and they make them friend because they go to Bible college now. Them things say they know everything. And them things say, oh, oh, yes, yes, we graduated to that bachelor's now. I'm going to go to the church and I'm going to take over. A lot of them, after the same lady sent them to Bible college, they came back, want to throw the lady out of the church. One who overthrew the lady. Plan up against the lady. Even with members, they get her out of the church so, then, so that they could install who them want and them friends. After the pastor come and see you and send a bunch of them go to Bible college, they came back, came back for who overthrew. And because of that, the, mem the, num the membership of the church went down. Yeah. So guys, these guys, we have to make sure to them tape up properly, you know. Because we're gonna put them in the barrel, send them off. Yeah. As you can see right there. Yeah, there they are. Yeah. Tape them up. Here is the barrel behind me right here. And all of this stuff, guys. We're gonna have to get them off, pack them up, and get them ready to send them down to Jamaica. Yeah, because my wife dip on me. Clue the money's money send you to clip. Oh, you need to blow the garage. No, 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 no. So we are going to clear them out. So, Reverend Barbara Hill, Pastor Hill, Evangelist, Evan, Evan, Jalice Hill, and all I will sell you out. Somehow we still remember what you did for us in that community. And what if you got saved from that community? If they didn't got saved, a lot of them would probably would probably be on certain journeys in life, man. But you came in the community with, it, with your love for young people. And a lot of young men came off the street. Holy heap of young men came off the street because of the call of God that is on your life. And they saw it and they came. I am not one to forget the goodness that you did for me. In that community. A whole heap of time. My family don't got food up a yard for eat. 
You probably saw, the, you probably came to church and you probably saw the hungriness on my face a lot of time. Yeah, you probably came to church and saw the hungriness on my face a lot of times. You carry dinner, you carry car dinner, you carry breakfast. People from our community would have never invited some of us to their homes. And you came to this church in this community. And you saw some of us young men. And you invite us to your home. S some of us people from our community would have never invited us to, to, to their home. But you came, invite us to your home. And you let us sit in your sofa. Let us never sit in a sofa watching big TV and the ESC while you in the kitchen cooking dinner for us. Some of them may have forgotten, but I cannot forget what you did for me and, and the wisdom that you instill in me. We're going to have to get some more toothpaste, guys. We're going to definitely need some more toothpaste, but I'm waiting on them to go and sell a shot, right? Yeah? We got, we got, what do you call it? This is mustard, relish, and ketchup. We got this for $4 something at Sam's. Decent. One of these ketchup, I feel $2. And we got four items. For, for four dollars. So it's like you get one one item for a dollar. Yeah. Got with Thai detergent also. I already taped it up. This is going in the barrel. Yeah. But a whole heap of us, whole heap of young men and young women, whole heap of elderly. She was the one that came into that church and also implement a pension system. For the elderlies in the church. That was never there before. And even some of them same people. Then take side against her. Because they wanted to install somebody. Who them like another them family. And way, way, way. And forget say. And forget say. The Bible say. Touch not the Lord anointed. Or do his prophet no harm. They forget you know. The same people them. Who they read Bible. Forget what the Bible say. Whole heap of people she help out in our community. Whole heap of people that lady help out. Whole heap of we. Whole heap of us back then we were hungry. Hungry. We usually hungry. Whole heap of we in the church. Hungry. Hungry. And this lady cook. When no other is passed and never doing at that church. She cook big pot of food and can come feed with. Can some of us go home and she go find she bring back stuff come give it. When she get her salary, she give people money, she lend people money. What a lot of pastors now do. Lot of reverend now do. Mighty woman, man. That woman, serious. Dangerous woman when she stand up for your principle. When that woman look at you and tell you, say, change. You change. Whole heap of young men got saved underneath, that, underneath her pastoral ship. What otherwise would have never come a church. Some of them probably watching this video now and they say, yes, I mean, I mean the boy, man, is attack, you know. Yes, I you may attack. When people do good for you, don't forget the good what people do for you. And not because another man may not like the person. That doesn't mean you must take side. Don't forget the good what people do for you and take side with your friend against that person. Because you see, sometimes them want you to join side with them to pull on the person because they don't like the person. When the person don't do you nothing, why are you taking side against the hand that feed you because your friend don't like that person? Because your family member don't like that person? Because your wife don't like that person? Your husband don't like that person. You are going to take side against the person who don't do you nothing. Be careful. Because a whole heap of them take side with, against Reverend Barbara Hill. Whole heap of them, the same people them who she feed. 
or help out of them struggle, them take side. No for them right now, if them see the lady power the road, then they, they can't look her in her face because her in her back and how them plan up against her. Whole heap of them right now. If them see her power road, then they can't look up in her face. You peed up butter, you know? Yeah? But bless up yourself, Reverend Pastor Evangelist Barbara Hill. Still remember the good what you do for me in that community. Usually feed me. Usually give me money. Usually give me clothes. Usually buy me deodorant. Usually buy me soap for beard and toothpaste and all of them something there. I will never forget that. Forget what you did for me. Never forget the goodness that you did for me, man. Never forget. And God not forget. Even when, even though some of them sell you out and send you down the river. Some of us still out there haven't forgotten the goodness that you did for us. A holy for us, you keep us on the trade path. If otherwise, holy for us would have probably died by the gun or, fa or fallen by the wayside. Bless up yourself, Pastor Barbara Hill, wherever that you are in Jamaica right now. Big up yourself. Maintain your integrity and don't feel dismay because you fight the, you fought the good fight and you kept the faith. And thenceforth is laid up for you, up in heaven, a crown of glory. Bless up yourself. So, guys, you also if we can finish tape up my items them right now. Probably a little bit after this. I may mean, gonna have to go to Bongo and go get a barrel. Alright? So blessings. Thanks for tuning in one more time. Yes. Thanks for tuning in one more time to Manix Robinson TV.